Taskmaster. No! Hands together, he creates a balloon. Eat your exotic sandwich, fastest wins. Welcome to Taskmaster. I'm not the Taskmaster. I'm Adam from FWCI, and this is the season finale of Taskmaster Season 4 with my favorite contestant of all time, Mel Gidrich. I don't know if she wins. Is she, she going to win? Is she even like in the running to win? I hope we get a look at the leaderboard in this one here. But before we start, I'm going to help myself to a little snack, to be honest. Hmm? If you want early access to my Taskmaster reactions, go to patreon.com slash FWCI. Uh, I, I've been saying two weeks early access, but I'm putting these up so frequently, it's becoming more like two episode early access. Because I'm doing like two a week, so... Early access, patreon.com slash FWCI. This season has been absolutely fantastic. I've enjoyed Hugh Dennis a lot more than I thought I would at the start of the season. I was pretty confident coming into this that Joe Lysett was good because I saw something that he did on uh, 8 out of 10 Cats Does Countdown. It was very funny. So he completely lived up to the expectations. No fielding, I expected more. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what the finale holds. But for Noel, I, I thought he'd be a little bit more off the wall, I guess. But so maybe my expectations were were too high. Lolly has been amazing as well. I love watching the way she approaches tasks. Like, I don't know if it's because she is like in, in like a very different generation to everybody else or not. But she just has this outlook that I always enjoy seeing what she's going to do in this show. And of course, Mel Gidrich, she's my pick. She's my favorite. I decided to take a page out of the book of little, little Alex, baby, little mini Alex Horn. Uh, and I'm going to wear a tie for this reaction in respect to Mel. Because she's so goddamn hilarious and I want to do everything I can to support this woman to victory. Moving ahead. Wait, moving on. Whichever one it is. So let's get into the episode. This is Taskmaster Season 4, Episode 8, Tony 3 Pies. In fact, Adam, I'm just gonna have another little bit of chuck. Series 4 Grand Final! Grand Final! Alright, it's a grand final. Two's on my left, it's Alex, little Alex, 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 Alex Horn. <laughs> I'm loving these two together. I, I'm glad I get to see more seasons of the of this banter. And then I had to have a taste of my own medicine, yeah. but it was fine because it was my own medicine. It was penicillin. I quite like penicillin. That's my anecdote. <laughs> <laughs> talking about Alex Horn. Does he mean antidote? Shit, I just got that. What the hell, buddy? This time we've asked them to bring in, for the prize, the most cash. Oh. <laughs> Come on, that's not fair. Baby, how much cash do we have? All right, so I got about uh, 280 dollar dues in cold hard cashola right here. Let's not do the exchange rate. Let's just say it's 280 and a mini game of Monopoly. So there's got to be like what? Like an extra 20k in there. So yeah, 22k we'll say. I reckon that's my contribution to the prize task. I'm going to have another little bit of chalk. Two million Vietnamese dong. Oh, damn it. Playing by my rules, you wins. That's a lot of dung. <laughs> Worth seventy-two pounds twenty. Ah. Hmm. <laughs> seventy-two pounds. Thanks, you, for securing last place. All right, I'm still winning. I'm not doing the exchange. Two hundred and fifty English sterling pounds. It is in pennies. <laughs> It weighs, it weighs 89 kilograms. <laughs> Why don't I invent my own currency? <laughs> so I've invented the note and I spent a long time painting it. Yeah. Uh, Bank of Avalon, Dave Pounds, Taskmaster, Comedy Gold. No, that is great. Alex, mm. <laughs> <laughs> I've given Greg too much neck. <laughs> Alex looks furious in that. Making us feel good about ourselves. We've both got crushingly low self esteem, haven't you? <laughs> I'm part of a sort of poker circle. <laughs> is she? With Mary Berry. Yeah. I know who Mary Berry is. A million pounds of the realm. 
Check it out, gang. Mm -hmm. It's for real. Pounds of the realm? And the catch. And then underneath that, there is Monopoly money. <laughs> Ah, oh, you stop. <laughs> uh, well, she spent £815.12 <laughs> on the Monopoly sets. <laughs> Blank check. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to put 1p more than whoever is in the lead. <laughs> just... Good idea. That is a good idea. You know, twenty-three thousand dollary dues, Lolly. Well, I'm sitting on two thousand pounds. I just thought, just have a backup. I have two so grand. I, I don't want to die. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right, move over. Um, friggin' what's his name? Ah, oh, shit. What is his name? The guy spent all the cash, every single thing. Ah, now it's gonna piss me off. Al Murray, that's the fucking rich bastard. No, all I'm putting you in third place. It's brilliant, but it's not legal tender. Joe, second. It's the second most cash. This is the most cash. <laughs> Lolly is the winner. Okay. Yeah, Lolly wins. It goes Mel on 115, Hugh and Lolly on 117. Oh, she's way at the back. Come on, Mel. This is your episode. Let's go. Ah. Oh. You just don't understand. Fashion. <laughs> I'm ready for the party. <laughs> Everybody puts the hat on their head. <laughs> well, those two idiots did. You have ten minutes to plan your exotic sandwich. Then ten minutes to construct it. Exotic sandwich? Oh, Christ. That to me says maybe fillings that have never been seen in a sandwich before. Oh, I don't know if that's what it means, Mel. It sounds like a bad presumption to make. Let's go all sweet. Mm. Heck, everyone's going to go savoury, aren't they? Alright, well, I do agree with that, Mel. Let's go. Then a Kit Kat. <laughs> then a Double Decker. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's have another piece of chalk in appreciation of this sandwich. Joe, you are great. She did say before she started, I want to blow the Taskmaster's tiny mind. <laughs> tiny mind. <laughs> Good layer of the chocolate orange. Little bread ski. <laughs> bit of bread ski? Let's go. This is getting a bit out of hand though, Mel. Just bronzing up the marshmallows. <laughs> Eat your exotic sandwich, fastest wins. No. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, you are screwed! Oh, gang. <laughs> Get into it! Oh my god, look at it! Feels standing there watching and make this. Oh my god! I've got something up my nose! Eminem is in your. Oh my god! I can't do any more than that. <laughs> that was an amazing effort. Holy shit, Mel. Oh. Is it exotic, that sandwich? It's sort of... <laughs> sort of... I can reveal nobody finished their sandwich. <laughs> Four good-sized bites, uh, essentially one double-decker, and you inhaled the m and <laughs> Got a meat in first. A bit of the lambuna sauce. Right, at least these guys are actually making stuff that will hopefully taste good together. <laughs> lovely. Uh, okay, you lost me with the banana, Hugh. And the Arctic roll. Fucking <laughs> 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 prick. <laughs> 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 oh, 
this is when it's your time starts now. There we go. All right, yeah, Hugh is in good shape right now. They said nobody finished their exotic sandwich. You smashed that down. It was, uh, had an arctic roll and some trout. <laughs> <laughs> Why was that called a mother's delight? Because Alex asked me what it was called and I, in a panic, said mother's delight. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, I mean, he tucked some away, threw some away, but he ate more than anyone else. Of course it... he did, because yes. it was just a normal sandwich. <laughs> give it to Mel. On that logic, give it to Mel. Oh, Neil, no, Neil, no, no. Dance sandwich so I'll have to attach some bread to you and get you to do a tiny exotic dance. What? <laughs> oh, wait, how the fuck is this gonna work? Look through my bready peephole. Get ready to get turned on. Cue music. <laughs> bready peephole. <laughs> how is this gonna end? <laughs> You're getting into this a little bit too much, I think. You didn't have to grind on his crotch. A bit from the other side. You've had a lot of the bread and not much of the filling. <laughs> How am I going to do this? I don't know. It's your idea. Oh, no! <laughs> Just might get him the win though. That's commitment. What was I saying about um, no fielding? I want him to be more off the wall. <laughs> I think I've literally never been further out of my comfort zone. <laughs> I mean, you are aware that when we're at home, Alex is only allowed to move around like a snake. <laughs> What is their relationship, man? <laughs> he popped to a menace and he bought himself a sandwich. <laughs> Cute, Dennis. Mel, I loved your sandwich, but it's only exotic if you're five years of age. No, but she ate heaps of it. Trout and ice cream, very brave, but not as exotic as Mr. Noel Fielding, okay. who takes the exotic <laughs> Yeah, he got the win and he got a bonus point. What the hell? Mel got screwed on that. She deserved the top spot. You've given them five, four, three, two, one points. I've given them one, two, three, four, five points. So they each get six points. So there was no point doing any of it. <laughs> what? Um, Alex is getting given points now? Oh, you got an extra point for the beers. OK. Noel gets seven. Oh, did Mel get one for snorting? Yeah, you said you were going to give me an extra one for snorting. Yes, give it. Give it. Seven points, which means the scoreboard looks like this. I'm happy with that. In place. Moving ahead. And we are playing for big money, or in Hugh's case, big dong. <laughs> Strike one of these objects. Furthest distance with one of the other objects. OK. At one of these and one of those, yeah? OK, all right. Do you want to start off with the two most natural sports the people? most natural sportsmen, Joe and Mel. Joe and Mel, OK. <laughs> It's got to be the ping pong ball. You've got to be able to hit that the furthest, for sure. The problem is the impact on the coconut could destroy it. I don't think so, man. I <laughs> think the coconut's OK. Attempt one. <laughs> All right. Oh, did it explode? Ah, oh, shit. Good enough. Eight metres and 12 centimetres. It's not outrageous, is it? 18 Solid. metres, 45. God damn it. You're almost scientific in your prediction of how the coconut would behave <laughs> when hit with a snooker cue, and yet you continue. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was backwards. That one. Yes, it didn't go forward. <laughs> that one didn't go forward oh, as well. No. Rough. <laughs> Lolly, you're going to get nothing. You've dropped it 25 centimetres. <laughs> the look on her face right now, she's like, God damn it. She was the only one not to use the snooker cue. She sort of dropped it and it rolled 20 centimetres, which is shorter than the standard British sausage. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, oh, Hugh is lining it up, all right. 
しれない<笑> What? Was that the first go? I mean that's I would say the best thing you've ever done in your life <laughs> Come on, you not seen old Greg? Before this show I'd sort of thought of you as this sort of weirdy art nymph <laughs> Weirdy art nymph. All those clothes are just for telly. At the weekend, you're out, they call you Tony Three Pies, and you're out. Oh. <laughs> it, was, it, was one, it was 24 metres, it was 100 sausages. You were both incredible at whacking cheese with a snoop. <laughs> <laughs> Mel gets two, Joe three, Hugh four, but Noel Fielding gets five points. Oh no, it's not looking good for Mel. <laughs> Do something surprising with this rubber duck. Most surprising. <laughs> you have ten minutes to plan your surprising thing. Your time starts now. All right, this looks like it's going to be fun. These, they can be very creative with this. This could go in any way. Surprise. <laughs> I'm already surprised. Oh. Okay. Dear Greg, I've bought you a holiday. Love, Joe. <laughs> oh. An overnight stay in a timber yurt. <laughs> <laughs> it's set over 1,000 feet above sea level. Fuck it. Your favourite... <laughs> Altitude? <laughs> Most surprising thing. <laughs> All right, Lolly. I have nightmares about that shit being like connected to some giant balloon and just like drifted up into the app out of the atmosphere. I don't know, Lolly. I don't think you really captured the word surprising with that. What noise do uh, do ducks make? Quack quack quack. This is a surprising duck. You have to, you have yeah. to turn it over. <laughs> 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 a duck that moves. That's a little bit surprising. I'm thinking I might surprise somebody from the outside world. Can I ask you, would you mind helping me with something? What is she doing? Now, Morello, have a look in your courier box. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> How surprised are you feeling at the moment? A lot of surprise. I don't know how the how they appear in here. Right? <laughs> Morello, good work, buddy. Oh, you're a ledge. Thanks, Morello. <laughs> you're a ledge. Bye. Oh, Mel, I'm gonna miss you so much. <laughs> He's a learner. I mean, this may be pertinent. Who the fuck was Morello? <laughs> he seemed like a nice chap. Very amenable. I'm gonna say he looked, seemed baffled. <laughs> <laughs> and then I slipped it into his box. How? How you froze what? Morello's brain. <laughs> his, his facial expression didn't change at all. <laughs> now, one surprising duck. So strange, Mel. <laughs> that was odd. But you should win, because I love you. Oh my god. Is the duck going to, like, object? Of Noel. To Ducky. Oh my god, it's um, Tim Key. No, I now pronounce you wife and Ducky. You may kiss the duck. Oh! 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 oh. <laughs> that is very surprising, <laughs> I guess. But what does Morello think about it? That's what I want to know. No, I am fucking married to a duck. <laughs> what? Marriage license to marry people in Hawaii. Oh. You've got to consummate the marriage in Hawaii oh. before it counts. But yeah, you. I don't, I don't think that's on the certificate. <laughs> They're married as long as they. As long as he takes the duck to Hawaii and fucks it. <laughs> it doesn't surprise me at all that Noel would attempt to marry a duck. The fact that he has actually married a duck does surprise me. Second place. But there is nothing more surprising I've seen this series than that poor Buffett man. <laughs> <track>. <laughs> Yes! Oh my god, I can't believe she pulled out the win. <laughs> Noel is in the lead with 19 points at the moment. Ooh, melt. 
creeping up. But I think Noel's got a one, well and true. I think he's kicking everybody's ass, to be honest. Hello, Lolly. Hello, Alex. <laughs> Hello, Alex. Your aim is to draw the third biggest duck, because that's the... Oh, okay. Sometimes everyone else is going to draw. <laughs> so, that's... that's the game. So this is kind of like the donut one, but very different. Yeah. Remember, ducks aren't really yellow. <laughs> looks like a robin. Oh. Yeah. That says, and I have drawn the median duck. Or have you written it? <laughs> mm, yeah, I don't know about that one, Joe. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I have thought about the task, and I have written, drawn. <laughs> <laughs> Last place. Which duck do you want to see now? Duck three. What's going on with this crowd tonight? It's been a wonderful experience, and I will remember it until the day I die, Lodi Adafope. Ah, oh, you sweet, sweet person. But how big's your duck? You might have the win, actually. It's a multicoloured kidney. <laughs> oh yeah, that does look like a multicoloured kidney. Good point. That is a quality duck. Thing, just want to point out. Uh, considering the company we're in, I put comedian duck. Extra points for the pun. Oh, oh. oh it's a lovely duck. It's farting as well. Good work. It's 13 and a half inches, which means Meryl's drawn. Oh, wait, yes, that's good. Yes! Yes! 20 points, I'm pretty sure, she should get for this one. Let's go. Noel gets the bonus point. Yeah. Ah, That's a... Mm, yeah, his was pretty good. I believe Noel Fielding picked up the dub in Taskmaster Season 4. She snuck into the front. Yes! All right. She was way too far behind in the season. Oh, okay. I've got to give her cash now, do I? Shit. I forgot about the second part of that task. By the way, I learned that the reason she takes all the um, letter marks is because she's melting it down to make a candle for her friend's son because he's a huge fan of the show. Which is, I mean, how wholesome can you get? Alex, mm -hmm. it's over to you to reveal the ultimate scores. Thanks, Greg. So I've... Uh... <laughs> Mr. No. Filling! Well done, No. Yeah, he's way ahead. He played to win. He played to win. What a great finale for Taskmaster Season 4. Oh man, Mel was on fire in this. I'm so glad she got the win in the final episode. Sucks that she didn't win the whole series, but having a strong finish was great. <laughs> Morello. Was that his name? Morello? The task where they had to um, hit an object as far as they could. That was... Uh, the thing that saved that was Noel Fielding just snapping the um, the pool cue in half and then using it as, as a golf club. Like, a, like an absolute expert as well, by the way. And the sandwich task, the exotic sandwich. Oh my God, poor Mel. She is... <laughs> Every single one of them, with the exception of Huey, was just like, are you shitting me? I have to eat this thing now. And that's such a great twist to put on this show. I love it when they have a good solid joke with the task and in this case it was like you don't know that you're gonna have to eat it they do a great job of making this show just different and unique and you never really know what's coming and there's a lot of surprises so i'm gonna continue smashing through this and what i'm gonna do moving forward is i'm gonna have a mvp for every single season somebody suggested this in the comments that i do it in my like season I don't do a season wrap up per se. I do like my favorite tasks throughout the season and I just kind of put them together in like a, an edit kind of thing. So on the finale episode of every season from now on, I'm going to announce an MVP and it's going to be the Mel Gedroich MVP award from now on. From every single season, somebody wins the Mel. And of course, you know who the inaugural winner of that is, Mel Gedroich. She was just an absolute delight throughout this entire series. I just fell in love with her throughout every single episode. She was a little bit more reined in on the Great British Bake Off, obviously, but I think I might check out more episodes of that just to get more Mel because she was my fate. 
She's my favorite so far. I mean, every single season we've had great contestants. I mean, if I had to go retrospective MVPs off the top of my head, first season was, um, oh, Ramesh. Ramesh would be the, the first MVP. The season two MVP, uh, that's a really tough one, but I gotta go with Joe Wilkinson, 100%. He was absolutely amazing. And my MVP for season three, that's a tough one. It's very close between one and two. And funny enough, it's the sinister Aryan twins. Um, I'm gonna put, Sarah Pascoe in the number one slot and Rob Beckett very very close second they would they were standouts throughout that entire season especially Sarah Pascoe she is kind of like Mel Gedroich she just makes me laugh and feel warm inside every single time but congratulations to the initial Mel Gedroich MVP award winner Mel Gedroich <laughs> now I'm at the end of it oh, I don't oh, Patreon because you're gonna get this first what do you want to see next? The next UK season? Would you like me to check out the Aussie season? Because I know season of two of that is coming up at some point. Or the New Zealand season? That's available on my streaming app lately as well. Um, let me know in the comments what you want and uh, I will, I'll make a decision of what season to do next. If I do the Aussie or the New Zealand season, um, then I'll go back to the UK series after that. But I'm thinking of peppering uh, the Aussie and New Zealand ones throughout. So let me know in the comments what you would like to see in the future on this channel with Taskmaster and all the other stuff. Give me your movie suggestions. Give me your TV show suggestions. Took me a few takes to get that right. I want to hear from you guys down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. I want to hear from you down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and then go to patreon.com slash FWCI if you want to support the channel a little bit more. And as always, everyone, be well, stay safe, look after your friends. See you in the next video. Peace.